I have a question. I mean, it's a little bit like a confusion in my head. Maybe I'm going a little bit extreme. But uh, usually, you know, uh, I don't know what's, where is the limit on what is considered a sin. For example, especially when we talk about respecting the laws of the country. Uh, here I'm going to talk specifically about, like, uh, driving in traffic, for example. Let's just say that, I don't know, in the traffic it says that don't exceed 50, and you go to 60 or 70, or maybe uh, on some places, uh, or like maybe in the traffic laws it says you should pass a, a car from the right, but you pass it from the left. Usually I, buy, I drive a motorcycle. So sometimes I'm asking myself, is this, like, I don't know, sinful because I'm transgressing some kind of law? Even though many people do it here, like everybody does it here, but, like, it's like, I don't know, does it, is that considered a sin in Islam? Okay, I understand, I understand your question, Ibrahima. First of all, if the violation of the law constitutes endangering others, it is sinful in Sharia. In addition to disobeying the law and the ruler and the, the community as a whole. But if it's not endangering people, if it's a freeway and I have a fast car and I do instead of 50, I do 150. And the wheels are fine, the tires are up to 200 kilometers per hour, they're high quality, the brakes are fine, suspension is fine, the road is fine, there's no one in the road. I wouldn't say this sin is sinful, maybe a little bit ridiculous, but it's not sinful. If I'm caught red-handed, I'm going to be fined. And we're going to pay the fine. I'm fine with paying the fine. I have no problem with that. So I would not consider it to be sinful. Now, other sins or other uh, violations of the law may constitute cheating, lying, uh, deceiving. This is also haram in Sharia, ah, in addition to breaking the law. So I hope this may clarify it a little bit.